guys, it's Anna here at D's, and today I'm going to be showing you how to decorate those urns on your front porch, or like what I have here is a galvanized porch pot, um, and I'm going to be doing it for fall. This one comes with foam already in it, so it's that spray foam that's really nice. You can take stuff in and out, uh, but you don't have to constantly change out the like the floral foam. So this is more permanent. We sell these in the store already ready to go with the foam in them and a little bit of the moss on top. So these are nice, but if you have an urn at home that has dirt in it, that's gonna work just as well. And you can easily remove stuff out of the dirt and add stuff in for Christmas or for every day. So what I've chosen today are these nice sticks and these I like to use all year. So you could put these into your pot and leave them and uh, just change out the foliage you have around. So I'm gonna go ahead and push three to five of these in. This foam is really, really hard to get started. So sometimes I'll poke scissors or even like a screwdriver down in first to give myself a hole to add in my sticks. The nice thing about this as well is you don't have to glue. It's just gonna hold really well with the foam. So just push it in there until it feels secure and then add in some others. So when I'm decorating a porch pot, I like to think in levels. So this is gonna be my highest point. So I wanna have some high things and then I wanna have like some stuff right around the middle and then I want some stuff that maybe hangs down or nice ribbon that's lower. So three levels to give you a nice looking porch pot. The other thing that's nice too is if you wanna do one on either side of your door, you kinda wanna mirror them so maybe they're not perfectly symmetrical you take your sticks and you do them maybe all off sort of to the right and then the one you do on your left side you do them all off to the left so then it looks nice mirrored on either side of your door but if you're a more symmetrical person you could just do one and make your pot symmetrical so I'm going to poke another hole to add my sticks You can do this with sticks in your yard as well. These we sell, they're just a nice brown twig, but you could always cut them out of your tree and then they'd have more branches if you like the fuller look, or you could even do them taller if you have big front doors. I'm gonna add two more. I like to do more of these because they're so pretty and they especially look great for fall. And again, I'm doing it kind of off to the side. I, I'm not as much of a symmetrical person. I like things a little bit asymmetrical. So I'm gonna do one more right here. Okay, as you can see, they're kind of all off to the side and I'm ready to add my stems in. So first I chose these oak leaves. You can always cut your stems shorter, but since it's so deep, you might want to leave them longer so they're up a little higher. So I'm just going to fluff the stem out, kind of see where I want it. I'm going to go kind of in the middle of these sticks off to the side. And this one, I'm gonna cut the stem off. the sticks more towards the middle and leave this one a little bit taller so that's kind of my mid level there the nice thing about leaves too is they fill in a lot as well since this pot is larger you do need some stuff that's fuller and that's when like a stem like this works really well or even bushes look good they fill in really nicely next is going to be this pretty pine cotton berry pick I'm gonna fluff it out and then I always kind of just hold it up where I think I might want it before I poke my hole and cut it. So I'm gonna go lower. This is kind of my mid. This is gonna be more lower. So I'm gonna cut this one off quite a bit. 
only leave myself about a six inch stem. Go right in the front here. Poke that in. As you can see, that starts to fill in the pot lower. I think I'll probably end up doing about three of these just to fill in. This one I'm gonna go off to the side. Since I like the more asymmetrical, I'm gonna poke it in at an angle and leave it over more to the side. And then even maybe let some of it hang down a little bit. one more and I'm going to go tall with it. I'm going to go right in here. And then mix the oak leaves kind of into the front. So they there we go. All right. Next I grab just some shorter, shorter stems. These are great to fill. So when I look at it, for fall, it's not too bad to have it open like that, but I might want to stick a few of these in here just to fill it in really nicely and cover up more of that moss. So I grabbed a couple of those. If I do one again, kind of like this one off to the side, I might do this one over here off to the side. Just poke it into your foam. the fullness of this as far as the foliage goes but I might want to add in a bow or a pumpkin so with the pumpkin I always save the ends I've cut off of some of the sticks because those are great to dunk, dunk in a little hot glue and then shove them into your pumpkin so you just poke them in because they're made of foam and then poke yourself a little hole for your pumpkin and then just stick it in there. It doesn't have to go all the way flat. You kind of want to have it stick out a little bit and that looks nice. You could do a couple of those. You could do some up higher if you wanted to, maybe around the back. But I like the look of that just to add something different kind of off to the side. And then lastly, I might want to add a bow. So for a bow in a pot, it's kind of similar to when you make just a regular floral bow. But it doesn't have to be as many loops. It doesn't have to be a tight bow. You want it to be more open and loose so that it doesn't look like you just kind of stuck a bow onto the front of your pot. So make sure to leave your loops really nice and open. And then sometimes I don't even make loops. So like say I want to, I love this plaid. I might make a few loops of this really big, but then add just a piece or two of a different ribbon. So these are nice and full, nice and open. And then this one here, I might just take a piece of it and add it in there so it hangs down. And then you can always do a third and leave nice big open loops. And that doesn't take as much ribbon to do um, just little pieces of it. So now I have this nice pretty bow and I'm just gonna wire it off in the same thing there. Wire it off and then take one of those extra stems you have, attach it right on there, and then you're able to push that into the pot. Just kind of like that. The other thing you can do is wire it on and then just wire it to a stem that you already have on there. But it looks really nice and it's a great way to add some fall to your front door that you can easily change out. And also you can use something that you already have. So make sure to keep watching our videos on our YouTube channel and find us on Instagram.